All right, here we go. 6.7. So um, real quick thing, honestly, there's just, literally it's just page 29. That's all that it is on here. Um, there is an article. You'll need to read a couple of different things. And then there's a Mythbusters video at the end of this that we're going to read or they're going to watch together. All right. So first off, okay, biomass. What is it? Oops, sorry. Okay, wood and charcoal. Okay, animal products, manure, plant remains that hasn't turned into petroleum yet already. Okay, municipal solid waste, biofuels, ethanol, basically anything that was naturally grown. That's the whole reason of bio. It was alive. The mass from it, biomass. That's all it is. Anything like that that you can burn or utilize for energy. That's basically biomass is all it is. Okay. So how do they help with climate change? by the introducing what's called a closed carbon cycle. So basically, cars burn the ethanol, release the carbon in the atmosphere. By way of photosynthesis, the plants absorb the carbon dioxide, you harvest it, they, so on, so on, so on. It basically makes it so it's getting used again and again and again and again and again. That's the whole point of a closed system. It gets used again and again and again. All right? So why is release carbon dioxide from biomass better? Well, basically because it just used to be in the atmosphere more recently. All right. So like it says, they're modern carbon, no net increase because the CO2 was only recently in the atmosphere, whereas fossil fuels, that's been underground for literally tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of years. So basically, you're kind of like trying to use it more recently, keep it in the atmosphere and then put it back in the geosphere, back, in the, back and forth, back and forth, more and more and more and more and more recently. OK, it will be considered what's called carbon neutral. All right. The fossil carbon, like I just said, that's unlocked from millions of years of storage instead. So basically, recently in the atmosphere, long time ago in the atmosphere. That's the basic difference between them. All right. This here is where basically you should, um, where it is, the Friedland Science. Okay. Number six, page three, number so on, so on, so on. The link, I actually just posted the packet in Google Classroom. I thought I had already, so my apologies. I just posted it right now. So jump on that article. Read that for me real quick. All right. So this is the distribution of ethanol and electric fuel stations in the U.S. Basically what's going on, kind of to show you where kind of the infrastructure is. Okay, this video where it says, all there, are there alternatives to corn ethanol? That's basically what this is talking about here. All right, so I'm going to play this. So that way you don't have to see me watching it the whole time, all right?
All right. Pretty straightforward. Okay. Potentially has um, some uses, but like the boys said, basically like it's unfortunately not really a viable option as of now. All right. So 6.7, pretty straightforward. Okay. Double check that you get the, the uh, progress check done as well. All right. See you guys on Tuesday.